talk about controversial topics such as what I'm going to do now and not give a shit about it. As long as you don't say Salam Hari Raya or Happy Idul Fitri, the, it's a Muslim type of, of thing, and uh, Happy Eating Bakude or Go Enjoy Your Pork on the most auspicious and most most uh, most religious of days for the Muslim or Islam people. the Muslims don't like or the Jews don't like the filthiness of pork is because it's just too delicious too tempting and it is at the same echelon or level as having sex because eating pork is like having sex with 98 virgins yeah something like that as decreed by Allah when you go to heaven when you blow yourself blow yourself up in front of the gringos kaijins and quailos yep that's not the controversial topic that I want to talk about. I'm not slamming Muslims. I'm going to slam. I'm not slam. I'm going to talk about the jabs. Uh, not in. I'm not going to say. It. When I say jabs, I mean it in a type of a non-racist way. It's a, it's a term of affection when I say jabs. The Americans say it, so why not me? Because as long as you do not make it into a very racist uh, type of connotation or a racist type of remark, like say the fucking jabs or. It's like a, what they call when it comes to the Irish people, the, like say when you call them a leprechaun, it's okay, it's okay. But until you say fucking leprechaun, then that is like very negative, and you should not say fucking leprechaun. What you can call the Irish people a leprechaun is a term of endearment. Uh, just don't say it to a Irish dwarf. So uh, yeah. is uh, not a human being right so the thing i want to talk about is oh my god the echo here is just terrible it's gonna like broadcast all my racist i mean my views my world views out into the open so now i'm gonna block that old man from walking right i can't see myself so. never mind the sun is there Because they are fanatic and they will die 
fighting until the last man so there will be less Japanese people less Americans which maybe is a good thing now but I don't know less people in the, on the earth is much better because you know, we are killing the planet but that's another issue so why the defeat of Japan is is so important now I'm actually destroying my own argument by saying that the two nuclear bombs are not that important Japan will eventually be defeated and the good reasons of why Japan should be defeated or the outcome of Japan being defeated is a good thing. So the nuclear bombs, the two of them, is uh, quite a relevant point. But bear with me. I think I'm not making any sense. But never mind. Japan were to win the war. It will be like if I throw a cigarette but if I litter, then the commissar or the Officer, the Japanese officer, officer will say, Off with fifth Hegel! Uh, take out a samurai sword and corporal punishment at the exact date, time, and place of incursion or the, the what do you call the bad thing that you've done. Uh, very swift justice or swift punishment. And that, that depends on how you see it. in the world not have existed now it exists in Japan can, can you guess what industries I am I talking about the most important industries in the world I'm not talking about cars I'm not talking about Sony I'm not talking about electronics I'm not talking about innovation I'm talking about two very very important things that if they did not exist the humanity, the people, everybody would have changed in another plane of existence, another another line, another dimension. The person that I'm in that dimension, where these two industries did not exist, would have a different attitude, different personality, different everything and points of view of life. If two of these industries did not exist, what are they? Number one, the most important and the most obvious of all industries ever. Most important industry from Japan that keeps the economy going, like what Samsung is to Korea, is the J. That's for the Japanese adult. Japanese adult. What does the V stand for? Videos, is it? Speak of lamb in the throat. Yep, JAV Industries. Without it, culture. A very important thing that actually makes people want to visit Japan. Would not have, would not have existed without the JAV. We would never have a taste or a sensory. Autism or sensory uh, fulfillment from watching the beautiful bodies of of uh, Japanese uh, women or girls and their uh, down south under views, something. And we would not have been so accustomed to looking at mosaic, and that has trained us to actually love paint <coughs> paintings that have mosaic in it. Yes, it has accustomed us to actually. Become a billionaire if you're an oligarch, oligarch like uh, what's his face, uh, the one uh, Andre Estrovskomniki, uh, who bought Chelsea. If you make it big, a lot of money. The only painting that they want, if they have been like indoctrinated to the love of the mosaic by watching countless JAB videos, definitely you will buy things that just have mosaic. Lovely. GEV is very important. I'm fucking around actually. Culture is very important. People might like disregard that culture. Disregard culture as tourism. Tourism is 
the thing that is like a virus that spreads. People who got, go to Japan to spend the money, okay. Maybe it's not as lucrative as selling a car, but it does not cost much at all. The, the facilities are already in Japan. It, it takes people to go there. <coughs> <coughs> source or one of the main sources of income for a country of course you cannot rely on too many uh, rely on one product don't put your all your testicles in one basket as my mother like to, to say it it's okay to diverse and that's why we go into the second topic the most important industry in japan or in the world this is the anime industry the manga the entertainment from japan jv or Japanese or adult videos is of course entertainment but it is an entity by itself it is just too pleasurable to be what do you call to be grouped into another section because it is its own entity its own section its own gracefulness its own emperor so entertainment anime manga vocaloid cosplay very important Without all these things, there will be no, there will be no culture. There will be no like everybody will be different. Of course, you can say that comics is important as well. Yeah, but the Japanese manga is more important because the expression of one story is all oh, up to just one author. Whereas in America, the comics is usually from one writer to another writer because the rights of the character. Or the title is owned by the big two, uh, let's say Marvel and DC. But nowadays we have, also, of course, Image Comics, which is uh, gaining in popularity and also fame among the creators of comic books because they treat their fellow creators well, better than DC and Marvel. Without manga, without anime, again. Everything will be different culture wise. Without them, would you see cosplayers or schoolgirls being very adult with looking very adult with makeup and such? You won't see that, and that would be a shame. And that would be a tragedy on the human race if you don't get to see scantily clad schoolgirls. And yep, yep. It would be a major tragedy. More, it's, it's, it's a tragedy that is even worse and sadder and more regretful than the Holocaust and the two bombs dropping on Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the same time. Yeah, it's a big tragedy if you replace, I say, if given a choice, if I was an omnipotent force or entity, aka God aka an image a figment of your imagination you have a power to choose between the existence of cosplay or anime or manga or the survival of the jews <coughs> survival of the jews who were massacred in the holocaust plus the the lives of the people in hiroshima or nagasaki definitely without a doubt you don't need to think about it it's just things zero infinite zeros one second to come to a conclusion because lives do not matter when it comes to manga anime and cosplay so hands down cosplay wins the lives of jews and japanese people are insignificant